What's the difference between the brand new Baratza Encore ESP, the Baratza Encore, and the Baratza Virtuoso Plus coffee grinders besides the price? Well, that's what we're going to find out today on FrenchPressCoffee.com. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com. Thanks, as always, for tuning into our virtual coffee shop. Today, where we are talking about the differences between these three Baratza coffee grinders. Now, one of them is brand new. That is the Baratza Encore ESP that I have here on my right-hand side, which we've done an in-depth video on that you will want to check out. The other ones that I have is the tried and tested and very true Encore. And this one we've used tons of times here on the channel. It's been in the studio for a long time, and this thing is like bulletproof. I mean, it's done so much grinding, and it just keeps kicking. Really awesome device. And then finally, we have the Virtuoso Plus. So what we're going to talk about is the differences between these that are not just the price, because that is one difference. We'll get into that in a few moments. But first, let's talk about features on each of these grinders. Starting with the Encore ESP, which again, we have an in-depth video on here on our channel if you want to check it out. But here's the top level stuff that you're going to want to know about this new grinder from Baratza. Baratza definitely heard a lot of feedback from folks like you out there who are interested in coffee and want a really great grinder, but wanted to see some things improved on the Baratza Encore line, and they definitely have listened, and they've delivered some very cool new upgrades on the Encore ESP. First of all, the ESP simply stands for Espresso. This device is able to grind very consistently, very accurately espresso. But we all know that you're going to get a really great cup of coffee if you grind your coffee when you are going to be making your beverage. So this is a really great answer to that because this one has uh, 40 steps of adjustment on it. But the first 20 steps on the top ring right here are marked as ESP. The grinding system inside this unit is going to deliver a really consistent, finely ground coffee. And we've done some tests it was super impressive. And so your steps from 0 to 20 are going to allow you to adjust in very small increments and be able to get a really finely ground coffee. After that, moving on up, you can grind for more coarsely ground coffee for AeroPress, uh, Chemex, and of course our favorite, French Press. And that is a very impressive feature on this device. Another one that's very impressive, seems small, but again, we've spoken about it here on the channel, and I'll just mention it real quickly, is the new gasket that is in this device. This is a new gasket coming from the folks at Baratza, and I got to give them big kudos for this because this gasket can actually be used on these other two devices that I have here as well. It's a lot easier to place this one, and I think that's going to make it a lot easier for folks to keep their devices clean because they won't think about having to put that older gasket, the flared style gasket, which I'll show you in a moment, back onto their device. So that's a very big deal, I think. Uh, another thing that is a little bit different on this one that is not included with these other two devices is the addition of the espresso catch cup. This is a porta filter style catch cup for your espresso grounds, and what this uh, is going to do is very simply, it's going to fit directly on top of a porta filter. So if you have a standard style porta filter device at home for brewing your espresso, this you can grind your coffee grounds directly into it, and then pop it right on top there to put your grounds into your porta filter. It's got a rubber gasket adapter on top of it, which will allow you to uh, use this with slightly larger porta filters depending on the device that you have. Uh, that's essentially the biggest differences on this guy the new features that we're not necessarily going to find over on the other devices, but there's still some great offerings from these ones as well. And before I move over to the Encore that I have right here, I'll just mention the price on the Encore ESP comes in at the making of this video $199. So a little bit higher than the Encore that I have, which comes in $169. We had said that we were going to talk about price. So there's a little price comparison for you to look at. Uh, so that is a bit of a difference. It's not a huge price difference, though, when you really break it down, especially for the features you get with the ESP. So what about the Baratza Encore? Let's talk about its features. So this one's very similar to the ESP. It has been around for uh, much longer, however. We've been talking about this one on the channel for quite some time. But this one's a workhorse by all means. Really, all the Baratza grinders are. But this one is really one of those grinders that you're going to buy at once, and that's probably all you're really going to need. Take good care of it, and it's going to stick around and grind a lot of coffee for you. The interior design of it for the conical burrs is very similar to the ESP, and I'll just show these to you side by side real quick. 
it's pretty similar, but you can also see some differences right off the bat. Of course, that gasket is different on both of, uh, between the two of these. You've got that much larger, older style flared gasket on the, uh, Encore that I have right here. I'll show that to you. That's a much, much different gasket design than the one that you have on the ESP. This burr is a conical steel burr and it is 40 millimeters. You've also got a 40 millimeter conical steel burr over in the ESP. The difference is that the M3 conical burr that you have in the Encore is not as sharp as the one that you're going to find in the ESP. So if you're looking to get that super consistent and very fine grind, you would want to look to the ESP. If you're okay with just being able to grind coffee as we're all used to grinding coffee, uh, usually fairly coarse, maybe getting a little more onto the fine side, that M3 is still going to do a great job. It's an excellent conical burr, and if you take care of it, as I say, probably going to last a lifetime. But also speaking to the burrs, there is a big difference between these two devices and really all three of these devices, uh, which is that you are going to be able to remove the burr in the ESP much more easily. Baratza has definitely heard the feedback from customers like yourself when it comes to being able to remove and clean the burr, especially that inner conical burr. Because on the ESP, you now have just a very small sort of handle, screw on handle that is going to keep that burr in place. This is really easy to remove. Uh, whereas over here on the Encore, you had a wing nut on the top. It was a little difficult to get it to be off there, especially if you haven't removed it in a while. This one's loose because we have it in the studio. It was a little hard to get that off. Usually you had to use kind of a combination of pliers and things to be able to loosen everything up and get everything out. It's a lot easier on the ESP. So again, I know that it seems like a small thing, but I think it is important that these little upgrades have happened because it will make it easier to clean and maintain your device. Uh, if you're just looking to brew coffee every day, you're looking for something that's really going to last a very long time and does have a very good grind range, this is an excellent entry. Again, it starts with zero on its grind levels and it goes all the way up to 40. But the difference is the Encore does not have the espresso grind settings that the ESP does. So that's pretty important. Now make no mistake, you can still grind for espresso using the Encore. You don't specifically have to have the ESP just to be able to grind an espresso grind. You can do that with the Encore. It's just very simply not as customizable as the Encore ESP, specifically because of another feature that I will mention on the ESP, the Encore does not feature, which is these little metal shims that come with the Encore ESP. These shims can be used to adjust the actual conical burr itself even further, giving you the ability to customize even further the way that the ESP grinds. The Encore does not have that. So for some folks, that could be a big selling point, being able to even further dial in your grind. Whereas with the Encore, you're basically going to get the grind settings that you have, which are all very excellent, including being, being able to grind for espresso. But if you want to get super fine, you want to play with that a lot, the ESP is going to be the way to go. Now moving on to the Virtuoso Plus. Now the Virtuoso Plus is kind of even an upgraded version of even these two devices right here in that specifically it has the ability to grind up to 1400 microns, whereas the ESP and the Encore can both do grind levels up to 1200 microns. That might not seem like a huge difference, but if you're interested in doing those super, super, super fine grinds like cupping, for instance, then you would want to take a look at the Virtuoso Plus. It also has some features that these two do not. Specifically, you can see in its overall make, it does have have uh, a lot more metal to it, a lot more brushed aluminum than you're going to find on these other two devices, which are both made of plastic. Uh, the Virtuoso Plus is also a little bit heavier than these two. Not by much, but a little bit heavier, so it's got a different overall design. It does also have on the front of it an LCD screen, which allows you to set the actual amount of time that you're going to grind with. It's not a feature that I find myself using very much, uh, but that is something that's completely different from the other two devices that I have right here. It also has in it that same M2 conical burr that you can find in the Encore ESP. And so that is something that is similar between these two, because if you do want to get to those super fine grind types, you're going to be able to do that with the Virtuoso Plus. Uh, so that is a very uh, distinct similarity between these two. Uh, but the ESP does, of course, have those specific grind adjustment settings for espresso and getting into that espresso range. The Virtuoso Plus, you still have 40 different 
ranges of adjustment on the top here on the bean hopper. Uh, so that's very similar, obviously, between all three of these, but you do have a different type of burr in the Virtuoso Plus than you're going to get in the Encore. Everything else is pretty similar. Uh, probably the only other thing worth mentioning here is that grinding is done by pressing down the button that is on the front of the Virtuoso Plus, whereas powering on the two Encore devices is done with a rotating switch that you will find on the side of the device. So using this button, it does allow you to do quick momentary grinds by pressing down and then letting up and pressing down and etc. Um, that's maybe a very small thing. Some folks might like to do that, especially if you're doing test grinds of various different kinds, um, but probably not a huge feature for most folks out there. Something that I probably should make mention of between each of these is how grinding is done. And I don't necessarily mean choosing the grind type. That's pretty much the same between all of these devices. But the actual action of powering the device on is a little bit different on the Virtuoso Plus versus the Encore line. And I'll show you how. On the front of the Virtuoso Plus, we have a little backlit LCD screen. And if we turn the knob that is underneath that, we can set a certain amount of time that we're going to grind our coffee beans. Uh, so we can set that time, then press that button, and the device will grind for the set amount of time that we have dialed in. We can also set a programmed default amount of time to grind with by holding down that button for a few seconds. We'll see a P showing up on the LCD screen. That means program. Then we can turn to select how long our desired uh, default grind time would be. And then that way, every time you put coffee beans into grind and just hit that button, the device will grind for that amount of time. Uh, it's something that I haven't found myself using too much in the time that we've had this device in the studio, uh, but that is something that some folks might dig. Looking over here on the Encore line, things are a little bit more simplistic when you boil it right down. You have an on switch on the side of each of these devices, pretty much the same, except for the look is a little different on the ESP. It's ever so slightly different. Um, but then on both of these devices, you do have a button which allows you to do momentary grinding. And when I say momentary, I mean that you can hold that button down and then you can let go and it'll stop grinding. So this could be very good for being able to do like very quick little grinds in order to maybe check how it is that you're grinding and things like that. Um, but if you wanted to be able to use something like that uh, and do it in a more manual fashion, you would have to hold that down. In which case, why would you do that? You would just flip the power switch on in order to grind your coffee. So this is a small thing, but it's something that is worth mentioning is that you've got those momentary switches on the front of the Encore, the standard power switches on the sides, but then over here on the Virtuoso Plus, you've got a little more bells and whistles to work with. And the final thing to make mention of with the Virtuoso Plus is its price tag is higher than the other two that I have right here. It comes in at the making of this video at $249. So again, if you compare that with $169 on the Encore and $199 on the Encore ESP, that's a fairly big difference at that point. You do have a rather large gap between the Encore and the Virtuoso Plus. Not a very big gap between the Encore and the Encore ESP, but you do have a bigger gap with the Virtuoso Plus and both of the Encore models. So for some folks who are looking to price shop a little bit, that might be a consideration as well. So what's my bottom line when it comes to talking about these three grinders from Barazza? Well, Bottom line is that really these are all amazing grinders. Uh, we've been working with the Virtuoso Plus and the Encore for, again, quite some time. The Encore ESP, I imagine, is definitely going to be a mainstay here in the studio as well. So if you're looking for an awesome coffee grinder overall, any of these three grinders is going to take care of you in just about any capacity that you might need it to. However, if you want to get a little more specialized about your grinds, then you would want to take a look at the Virtuoso Plus or the Encore ESP, where again, you're going to be able to dial in that grind a little more. If you're looking to get really fine about your grind, the Virtuoso Plus and its ability to grind up to 1400 microns is probably going to be your choice. If you're looking to do espresso grind, any of these grinders is going to be absolutely great for that. The Encore may be a little less so. Again, it can grind for espresso, but it's not specifically designed for that with that in mind. Whereas the ESP and the Virtuoso Plus both have some features that are going to elevate it when it comes to being able to grind for espresso. And if you're looking for a coffee grinder that's going to do very easy for uh, any kind of filter brewed coffee or French press, things like that, 
by all means, the Encore is going to be an excellent entry. It's a great all-around grinder, and its price is probably going to help a lot of folks to decide what they're going to do. If they're just looking for something to be able to grind coffee reliably every day and get a good cup and not spend a lot of money on doing that and have a unit that's going to last for a very long time, I would say that the Encore is probably going to be your answer. But remember, if you want to dial your grind in, if you want to be customizing, if you want to be very exacting about what you're doing, I would say look at the Encore ESP or the Virtuoso Plus. Really comes down at that point to the price points between the two. Again, $249 on the Virtuoso Plus and $199 on the Encore ESP. What would I go for? I would say probably at this point, if I were buying a new one, I might lean towards the Encore ESP because I like how easy it is to use, but it also has so much customization to it. And I don't necessarily need the bells and whistles of the Virtuoso Plus plus myself, but remember, this comes down to your grind and your brew and what you like to drink every day. It's an important question to ask, so make sure to check out the overviews that we have on all of these coffee grinders right here on our channel. You can find out how to use them, how to clean them, how to maintain them, how to get the best grind out of them so you can get a great cup of coffee. That'll allow you to make an informed decision. And once you're ready to do that, jump over to FrenchPressCoffee.com where we've got everything that you need, including these grinders. So, as always, everyone, if you have questions, if you have comments, if we missed anything, if you want to know more, you want to know less, you probably don't want to know less. But if you'd like to talk to us, get in touch in the comments section. Find us at FrenchPressCoffee.com. And remember, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, and then go ahead and hit that notification button so you can find out about all of our new videos here at FrenchPressCoffee.com. As always, everyone, I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time, and take care. If you like that video, go ahead and give us a like. And while you're at it, why don't you subscribe to our channel? And I'll go ahead and wait for you. If you do, I'll give you a nice coffee quote. Go on. Oh, thank you so much. And now for the quote. I would stop drinking coffee, but I'm no quitter.